Okay guys, so I just wanted to show y'all this. Um, I got, I did like a whole video, like a sit down video, but I figured I'd just show it in the vlog. Um, Ipsy sent me either glam box and then they have this new thing called refreshment. So you basically get two boxes. So I just wanted to kind of show y'all what I got. Um, so you get, when you get the glam box, you get like a bunch of full size items and then you also get the bag that has five items in it as well. I don't know, I just think this is super cute. It's like Sherpa material, super cute colors. And then you get um, a holiday puzzle piece, puzzle set, I guess. Okay, why isn't this works? There we go. 200 piece puzzle, so if you like puzzles, my mom loves puzzles, so I'll probably give this to her. Um, and then, let's see. Where's the front? And then, QMS. Okay, why isn't that focusing? Medi Cosmetics, Ace Vitamin Day and Night Cream. Um, definitely want to try that. I am, again, super cautious when trying new creams just because my skin is super sensitive. I definitely want to try it just because in the winter, my skin gets really dry. Just like a deck of cards. Um, I guess fun stuff to do in quarantine. Superhero. It Cosmetics Mascara. I've been meaning to try this. Um, when I worked at Ulta, It Cosmetics was like top, not really top, but like a lot of people gravitated towards it. So I definitely want to try some of their products. And I always love getting mascara just because I love trying new ones. Currently wearing, or currently my fave is Lancome. The waterproof one so the, ooh, definitely want to try that and then i got the nomad palette it looks like italy i was supposed to go to italy in um last june but that got canceled because of everything so hopefully i'll be able to go again or not go again but hopefully i'll be able to go this june june 2021 it's been my dream to go to italy like this picture is just so pretty okay so Colors look like this. I love that color. I don't know. It's just like a really nice burgundy red. I'm not really a fan of shimmers. Um, but I like the browns, the neutrals. The colors look a lot different on the camera, if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, it's a really pretty palette. I can't wait to try it. Maybe I'll do like a makeup look with it for y'all. Because I know y'all been asking about doing makeup videos, so I definitely want to do that. Okay, so it's an eye cream. Um, definitely want to try that. I've started getting really bad dark circles, which never happened. So I don't know what's going on. I guess I'm not getting enough sleep, so I definitely want to try that. And then just a brush. Looks like that. It's for... Okay, it's a powder brush. I prefer bigger powder brushes. Like, to me, this would be like bronzer, but I guess not. Ooh, and then Tula, um, so polished, exfoliating sugar scrub. I, everyone I know, like YouTubers, use Tula, so, and I get a bunch of these in the Ipsy packages, so I'm definitely going to start trying it. Although sugar scrubs, alright, can you please focus? Sugar scrubs make me nervous just because I know, like, it's bad for your skin. I don't know, we'll try it. I'll let y'all know. Okay, and then that... Is everything full size? We'll go over to the refreshments box. It comes in this super cute bag. So you just get a few items. Um, full size velvety body cream, citrus spritz. That packaging is so cute. And then you get these refreshments cleansing makeup or cleansing face wipes. Again, the packaging, it just all goes together and it's super cute. What's this? Okay, and then a hand cream. Same scent, same packaging. Definitely need to try this because my hands have been so dry because of winter. All right, and then we'll just open up the bag. Okay, so I got eyeliner. And then it's in the color Jet Black. Kind of deceiving. I thought it was going to be like a reddish color. But I love trying new eyeliner stuff. But this is like another eye serum. And it firms and brightens and 
Depuff, so I definitely want to try that. Like I said, I have really bad dark circles lately, so Benefit Poor Professional. I have so many of these. I get these in like every Ipsy bag, so yeah. <laughs> um, and then um, Murad Essential C Cleanser. I used to use Murad, like my mom used to use it too, but I don't know. I stopped like years ago and I just use Panox oil now, so I don't even know if I'll risk trying this. Again, super sensitive skin. All right, so that was all that was in my bag. But yeah, the box just comes with like a ton of different stuff. So if you're looking for something more than just the bag, definitely try the glam box. I guess technically it's called the glam bag because it does come with a bag to put all your stuff in, but it comes in a box, obviously. Um, so yeah, I 10 out of 10 recommend. I love Ipsy. I love getting new things every month. It's just something exciting to look forward to. So yeah, I will have the link down below. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey. Um, in today's video, I didn't actually do an intro. I realized that, cause I started filming Friday, just a little bit of stuff. I think it was just pretty much food, honestly. And then, um, I showed what I got from Ipsy. So again, thank you Ipsy for sending me that. This video isn't sponsored by them. They just sent me their glam bag, but it comes in a box, so I always call it glam box. Um, <clears throat> I figured I'd do it in just a vlog rather than a whole sit down video. I personally enjoy seeing those type of things in vlogs rather than just someone sitting down the entire video and just talking about it. So it's like, all right, I'll throw it in the vlog, I don't know, to give me stuff, because I am not good at vlogging, like, I just, I don't remember to, like, record stuff, or if I'm out in public, I get really nervous and shy, so, yeah, but, um, today is Saturday, um, I just got some coffee, I always get an iced mocha with almond milk, two pumps of mocha, and then no whipped cream. I only get two pumps because I do that with my Frappuccinos too because it, it's too sweet. And Devin are going to this really cool restaurant later. I just have to film an Alpha Late video. Yeah, let's ignore that zit. Everyone has imperfections and yeah, just wearing masks and all that. My skin has not been nice to me. So we're just gonna ignore the pimples on my face. It's completely normal, nothing to be ashamed of, but I know it is kind of hard when you look in the mirror and that's like, oh my God, oh my God. You know, like that's all you point out and see, but acne's normal. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Yeah. But anywho, I gotta film. So yeah, today's Saturday. I just ate, we had a chill night, I had pizza. And then this morning we just got coffee, had a chill morning. I got ready to film, so now I'm about to film and then we're gonna go eat. I'll probably have a chill night again. I mean, there's not really much to do. But I'm gonna try and film as much as possible for y'all, so. Hey guys, so I have these slippers. I got them from Fashion Nova. They're like the Ugg dupes, cause I don't feel like, I don't know, I've heard bad things about the Ugg ones, cause they say, this is just like super huge and like your feet slide off. It's the same with these, but at least these were like cheap from Fashion Nova. They're cute. Just easy to walk around the house. Um, yeah, but I'll have link these linked down below too. Y'all know I like my slippers. So yeah. I just finished filming my Alpha Late haul. So I don't know if that's gonna be out before this one or after, but yeah. Oh, also I got this cute set from Hollister. Hollister is stepping up their game. Let me just tell you, especially with like lounge stuff, it's so comfortable. So if y'all want me to do a haul on like Hollister loungewear, let me know. I know, like you think, some people probably still think of Hollister and think like the Hollister logo short, I mean tops and like middle school, high school attire. I don't think I really wore Hollister in high school though, if we're being honest. But, they have definitely like rebranded themselves because their um loungewear and like gilly hicks too like 
their stuff is so comfortable so cute and it's not like it has logos like look how cute this set is it's got like the crisscross front it's just like these lounge pants um yeah the flare like how cute is this super flattering um yeah it makes your butt look really good you can't really tell this is black but i actually got these in like the light gray i guess is the color um but yeah it's super cute super comfy i have so many of their like lounge pants because they once they, they sell out so quick and they don't usually come back with them so i bought if i like it i buy it in every color and yeah i got this in black and the gray as well these this set is still on their site so i'll have that link down below um but yeah hollister y'all have stepped up y'all's game um and keep the loungewear coming because i'm obsessed I also got this um, bra, long line bralette top, basically like a crop tank that y'all see, um, you can get them. They're pretty cheap and have like, I don't know, they're more comfortable than the Urban Outfitter ones. Just because those like, I have, I guess a short, whatever this is, shoulder, torso, whatever. So the straps are too long, but Hollister's fit perfect on me and they're so comfy. I got it in like a brown, a tan, a white, black, light purple. I got all the colors that they had. Um, so yeah, if you've been looking for really cute, cheap loungewear, go check out Hollister. We're currently watching Tiny House. I don't know, I just love videos that like show people looking for unique houses like i used to watch the one all the time i can't remember the exact name but it was like where they were looking for houses in like alaska i don't know i just find these so interesting but yeah that's what we're doing and then we're gonna start getting ready sitting here procrastinating getting ready scrolling through instagram a bad idea i don't know i feel like when your job okay this isn't my job a lot of people think that instagram and YouTube are my full-time jobs. They are not, not yet. I would love for this to be my full-time job, but no, I still have a full-time, like a real, I don't wanna say real, cause this is a real job, if someone were to have it. But um, this is just kinda like part-time, I guess you'd say, uh, something I enjoy. But no, I have a full-time, like, seven to six thirty job um every day except for the weekends so that's why i can't put out content all the time because i only have the weekends to film but yeah um i mean i still work with brands a lot and do youtube and instagram so it is like a kind of like a part-time job but i'm on social media a lot i've definitely limited it which is like the best thing you can do because it it does not do well for your mental health I just realized there's a bottle. There's a bottle back there. I don't know if that'll get me in trouble, so I'm gonna move that. But yeah, I feel like social media is so, you pick what you want people to see, which I mean, obviously you get, it's fine. Like it's your page, do what you want with it. But that's why I have limited, like I don't scroll. I don't sit there and like go through my explore page. Cause then it's just like pretty airbrush girls after pretty airbrush girls. And it's just so bad for my health. Cause then it's just like, I don't know. It's like, I don't, I look like that. I will never look like that. Um, but the more you stay off it, the less you think about it. And you know, you just need to appreciate you. Everybody's different. And even if you don't look like that person, it's, you never know, they might not look like that person. Oh, I haven't been as active on Instagram and stuff like that, just because I've been trying to take a break. I'll post my photos for my brands and kind of like get off. I try to engage with other influencers too and other people and my followers, but I've been not as good with that recently just because my mental health lately has been not the best. And like when you're, you can't go out anymore because of quarantine and everything and so like you're like all right on my free time let me just go on instagram or something or before i go to bed you know and it's just it's not the best but yeah everybody's beautiful even with the negative comments i get i don't let it get to me because i am me i can't change it i mean i guess technically i could with some filler low-key i want some but you know it is what it is 
I don't know if this chat was like, I'll even put this in. I'm just rambling because I was on Instagram doing what I shouldn't have done. All right, guys. So this is the fit tonight. The top is a revolve as well. I will have it linked down below. And these are the pretty little thing pants. Y'all saw. Ooh. I just paired them with Air Force Ones. I don't know. I think they're super cute with like sneakers. They like stick though and make they make really weird noises. So I'm not really a fan of that. Um, but yeah, I think it's cute. I might put my hair up. I don't know yet. It's not flattering on the butt, but honestly, it's whatever. My butt looks small. I don't really care. I don't know. But, um, I, th I don't know. I just think I've never worn leather pants before. So I'm actually really feeling it. I think I just feel mature in it. I don't know. I really like this top from Revolve. Like a cropped turtleneck. I have it in white, too. I just feel like this is like a basic... That you need. What? That's not cute. Like, look, I got like a a turd on my head. Oh, gosh. Oh, stay. Yo, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have a panic attack. I just wanna be cute with a bun. Something like that. Okay, I look like Steve Jobs. If only I was as rich as Steve Jobs. <laughs>